A Utah father is breaking his silence after his children were tortured at the hands of his wife and a former Utah counselor. Kevin Frankie called for change as he spoke to Utah lawmakers today and KSL investigator Daniela Rivera. Daniela joins us now live. Well, Deanie, the Ruby, with Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt both convicted of child abuse and serving their prison sentences, Kevin Frankie is now speaking out. In his first interview, Frankie tells me he's on a mission to make sure what happened to his children doesn't happen to any other Utah families. It was a scene that shocked even first responders, a malnourished and severely injured boy escaping a house of horrors to get help. I'm incredibly grateful for the heroics of my son. Today, Kevin Frankie told lawmakers that help for his children should have come sooner. And protect our children so that what happened to my family cannot happen to Angel Belt. Kevin Frankie says he was isolated from his family for more than a year at Hildebrandt's direction, while she and Ruby Frankie navigated loopholes in the system to evade child welfare workers and police. All they had to do were three things. One, keep the children isolated from the world. Two, ignore all the phone calls from DCFS caseworkers. And three, not answer the door when DCFS and or police officers knocked. That's it. The KSL investigators first uncovered and reported that police visited the Frankie family home 15 times between March 2019 and August 31st of last year. And at least five of those visits were to assist Utah's Division of Child and Family Services. Kevin Frankie says officials didn't make contact with the family in those visits, and Hildebrandt also coached him to avoid DCFS. They want to destroy your family. This is what government does, she would say. And so I didn't answer the phone. DCFS Director Tanya Myrup told lawmakers the agency's most difficult cases involve families who won't cooperate. But unfortunately, there, there are times when after those efforts and we've staffed it with our attorneys that um, we may just not have enough to legally intervene in and further. Now, Kevin Frankie wants Utah law changed so DCFS and police can place children in temporary protective custody when there are multiple reports of red flags without additional evidence of abuse. He says he thinks every day about what might have happened if the horrific abuse had continued any longer. It is a lot to deal with every day. The questions of what if, what could have been, what should uh, have happened, what I should have done, what others should have done, it haunts you. Kevin Frankie is also calling for harsher penalties for emotional abuse and child abandonment, regulation of the life coaching industry, and he wants an audit of Utah's Division of Professional Licensing, which oversaw Hildebrandt's license to practice as a mental health counselor. We have reached out to Doppel this evening and we'll share their response on KSL TV. Dot com. Dini. Uh, Daniela, that was interesting and helpful to finally hear his voice in this case. For sure. Thank you.